How about a full pyro team? Oh wait, won't she be scared because she's cryo and she's gonna melt there? Full pyro. She's here, born of the ocean swell. All right, uh, the other three characters, water dude, I think I have him C6, uh, Beto, probably C6, but I don't think rocker chick is uh, C6 yet. Let's first take a quick look at my history uh, so you guys can get a get an idea about where we're at. Uh, yes, here we stopped at Yinfei. That, that, that was our main goal last summoning session. So besides that, we have actually not a five star for a while. We got Kaching here and then like six full pages of nothing. So we're actually decently close to pity. Uh, it's only six per page. So yeah, six times six is 36. Uh, so we're more at like 38 out of pity. For some reason, I just thought every page was 10. I don't know why I thought that, but uh, Pog Champ, whatever. We have 150 of these intertwined fates. Again, I transfer them all into intertwined. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's go ahead. Come on. Uh, four star. Water dude straight off the bat. I guess that's kind of coolish. Another water dude. I th like I said, I think I have him at C6 already, so that doesn't help too much, honestly. Uh, okay, so two water dudes. Yes, they are indeed already C6. As you can see, we don't get a thing for them. Let's go. Ten more. Come on. Still no Eula. Very sad. Uh, what do we get, though? I, I'm not really interested in any of the four stars, to be totally honest. But we did get uh, her, so there's that. And a Witsith, which I think is a pretty nice book. Uh, but yeah, we didn't really get much here. Just a... Uh, Shinyan, if that's Shinyan. Wow, 92% say no? That's insane. We're, we're getting kind of close to pity-ish. Not really, but 92? No believers in chat. Uh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We have Black Tassel, Harbinger, nothing, nothing, nothing. Another Shinyan, Skyrider, and I guess that was pretty much it. The saddest of days. Uh, she's probably almost C6 by now. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta think of something. I gotta think of something to do to uh, boost my luck, my odds here. I, I don't know what, what that, that could be. Uh, let's just go ahead. Another one. Tin pole. Come on. Come on. Can't believe this. Every time, every summon session is nothing but pain. I got lucky one time. One time. And that was it. That was enough. They were like, cut him off. We're done here. We got Favonius Lance, Skyrider. Who cares about three stars, actually, for the most part? A couple good three stars, and that's it. But, you know, couple, one summoning session, you basically have all the three stars anyway. So, I mean, we started with an even 150. So, this is very easy to keep track of the summons. I really like it li like this because I like to have counters and stuff. Yeah, so we've done 40, uh, 40 summons, four tin pulls. Boom! This is it! Yes! Finally! Uh, we were close to pity. Oh, but she was first. There she is, Eula. And she, that was actually not a 50-50 because we got Kaching earlier. But there she is, Pog. Uh, we actually could try for the next, the next five star. I kind of, I don't know. We, we honestly didn't get very lucky. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to go for a uh, C1, to be totally honest. Maybe we'll try a little bit. I don't know. I don't. Want, I don't want to stop here. Um, but yeah, there she is. Pretty cool. Also, yeah, like the four stars. I'm not super interested in. So it's kind of tough to decide. Eula weapon? Nah. I don't think so. I mean, it probably sounds good. Yes, it does have a massive amount of base attack. Physical damage bonus is obviously Pog. A part of the mill is new that wanders amidst the wind. Increased attack by 16. Oh my god, that's a lot of text. What does that do? Normal attack speed and attack. I don't know. Oh, is there Aquila here too? Oh man. If there's Aquila and Song of Broken Pines. Uh, I have to think about it. Because I really, I really still prefer physical Kaching. But then again, you know, Eula's also physical. It's like... That's a tough choice. I hate weapon banners. I hate them so much. What, what do we have over here? Sacrificial, uh, that one pull thing. Oh wait, Dragon's Bane. That's not the one I was thinking of. I don't wanna. Come on. I don't wanna do weapon summons. Why are you doing me like this? But isn't C1 Eula kind of pog also? Cause I can't get, I can't get as like a C1 Eula and also a weapon probably. 
Let's also see if we have C6 for her yet. Almost, not quite. Every time Ice Tide Vortex's Grimheart stacks are consumed, Eula's physical damage is increased by 30% for 6 seconds. Each stack consumed will increase the duration of this effect by 6 seconds up to a maximum of 18. Like, 30% physical damage. Summons. Bing bong bing bong. What will it be? Uh, we don't have any more Genesis Crystals. Moga. Go for Eula C1. Guaranteed power is always better than potential power. That's what I'm saying, and I have Gravestone. I actually heard Gravestone was better than this weapon. The only reason I was kind of cons considering it was because of Aquila as well. Like, base attack is nice, but it's not everything, you know? And besides, having a base attack doesn't just mean it's like better automatically, because it takes away from the physical damage bonus. There's always a balance there, you know? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for C1 Eula, to be honest. Here we go! Oh, I forgot to start a prediction. Oh well, I guess that wouldn't have been anything anyway, because... Ferris Shadow! Sacrificial Fragments! Uh, what is our four star? Thank you for the Prime formula! Although I kind of already decided... <laughs> oh no! We have 2% yes? Watch this! Five star time! Let's go! Okay. Debate Club! Sharpshooter's Oath! We finally got a Beto! I think she's C6, but maybe she's not. Let's just go through these real quick. Uh, no, she wasn't C6, actually. I don't really have any plans to raise her right now, but... Thank you for the Prime sub, Wavy Rodejo. Obviously, we are very early into the pity now. Let's go ahead and get these next summons. Come on, give us some luck for once. For once, please. Be a little nice. Game. The flute. We got. It's gonna be our only four star. Actually, you know, I kind of prefer weapon four stars in this round of characters, to be totally honest. All of, the, all of them are C6 or close to C6 anyway, so. But all, but also, I don't really care about the flute either. All right, here we go. Next tin pull. Come on. Come on. Why? Why? Okay, you know what? Forget it. Don't give me another Eula. Don't, don't ever do it. Make me go down to pity and then give me a Chi Chi and then make me go to another pity, and then, well, I guess you're forced to give me Eula at that point, but not one summon earlier, you son of a- Don't you dare. I don't wanna- I don't want a Eula. Hmm? How about that? How do you feel about that? This better not be a Eula, or I'm going to be pissed. Good. Thank you. That's, uh, that's exactly what I wanted. A Fafonius Greatsword. I really appreciate you, game for doing exactly as I ask, all the time, and, and giving me a Favonius Greatsword. Yay. I'm happy about that one. Good job, game. And a Beto to top it off. All right. Uh, that was actually our 100th pull right there, because we started with 150 of these dudes, and now we're down to 50. We're gonna keep going till we get the next five star, which is not this one because I asked it not to give me any five stars anymore. Thankfully, it is respecting my requests. Yeah, that's really good and cool uh, that you're doing that for me. Game, I appreciate it very much. We got another tail in Beto. I mean, we are getting decently close again, I think, to a pity, but it could, it, it could not be Eula. I don't want it to be Eula. Don't give me a Eula game. I'll be very angry about that. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead. Come on. Okay, there is our five star. Do not be Eula. Don't be Eula. I'm be so mad. Uh, cool steel. Another cool steel. A sharpshooter's oath. Blood tainted greatsword. Oh my god, thank you, game. Thank you. Haha. -ha. You're dumb. I knew reverse psychology would work on you. Haha. -ha. Uh,. Nice. There's our C1 Eula. Very pog. And we got a Rain Slasher. Blood Tainted Greatsword. And that'll do it. We won the 50-50. Very, very nice. Alright, so we're done summoning on this account. Uh, I'm not going to bother with weapons. We can go ahead and get Eula's C1 real quick. And I'll probably raise her on my own. Let's go ahead and grab this. And now we're going on to Bone's account to do some summons as well. Uh, yeah, that's be pretty exciting. 